Yeah, me and Gary was talking one day and he said he'd like to have some exotic animals on the farm and I just happened to know a guy that had some emus. If the phenom wants it, the phenom gets it. I'm a farmer, I'm, I'm not a zookeeper, but you know, he's the boss man, he writes the check, so you know, he wanted emus. So I get wind from the farm that uh, Gary's gonna buy some emus and I gotta help. Let's get some emus, Trav. Me and the city folk are going to go wrangle some emus. I've been waiting on you. I reckon my game plan going in to catch the emus was I really had no idea how to catch an emu. What could possibly go wrong? My job was to make sure everything goes as planned. Then I realized we didn't have a plan. We got a pair in here. I'm working on these first. I'm telling you, I'm a little bit scared of them. If you're scared of them, I'm petrified. You know, I've, I've wrestled a lot of critters, and uh, you know, I just had to go on in there and get them because I could tell these city boys weren't going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> How hard is it to catch an emu? It's just a big, giant, long-legged chicken. Is anybody going to do anything for me? Oh, you're, the, you're the farmer, Donnie. I'm not an emu farmer. There's no way I'm grabbing an emu. That's why we have Donnie. I don't know who was more scared, the emus or the city folk. Scared of him. Give him up. Oh, he thought about kicking you, Trav. A big chicken? It's more like a pissed off pterodactyl. No! Yes! <laughs> Dude, Donnie! Tried to find a wing on one of them. Hell, the wing wasn't no bigger than my finger. <laughs> it looked pretty simple, boy. I was sitting on my old bucket. What would we do without my emu stick? Travis, quit! Quit! Kill me with that damn stick. <laughs> it's called preventative action. How about calming down just a second here? Can you do that? Come on. Ooh. Oh, bound to hurt. Got the devil inside. I'm oh, fixing kick. I'm a emu wrangling. Wait. I'm sorry. I got carried away there. Watch yourself, then. I'm watching. Oh, damn. Grabbing an emu in the ass with a stick is a lot better than trying to drag him to the trailer. Is it a bird over his head? I don't know. I had an idea to throw a blanket over a sitting emu's head. No. Yeah, that didn't work out too good. Way to go, Donnie. Calm the hell down. Coming in hot. This on this right here is strong. Damn, he's trying to bite my ear off. <laughs> Fishing right up there by watching uh, female mud wrestling. Oh, that hurt. Damn, that hurt. Missed my privates just a little bit, so that worked out pretty good. Oh, oh shit. Oh, get in front of me, whatever you do. Oh, oh. We got one more. <laughs> Where's my stick? <laughs> It didn't work out like playing it. Finally come up with a plan for that stick. I got a plan. All right, so not. <laughs> Damn. You all right? I can feel this pain. Told you. Hey, pretty girl, your heart's beating 900 miles an hour. I got even poop on my Nikes. I just went on in there and did what I thought I had to do and ended up getting it done. All in all, without Donnie, we wouldn't have caught any emus. Oh, he moved her at Hasbro. That was incredible. Good job. Bro. I don't want your job and you don't want mine. You're right. <laughs> I'm about to die. I guess one of the biggest parts about bringing the emus to the farm was the fact that my youngins got to come over and see them. They wanted me to get some off the trailer and put the pins and all. Oh, hey, turn around. That way. Come on.
you know, they really enjoyed it. I guess they figured out their daddy's a badass. I don't know. From here on out, if anybody needs an emu wrangled, I'm your man. $100 higher, and I'll come get them all. Come on, my little emu. Come on. Right where she belongs. I'm going to talk him into a monkey next. Monkey. It will be on the farm within the next month.